always had a really strong commitment to helping students with their reading skills, um, starting at the earliest level. And we began with Read Naturally as a way of supplementing what was already in place professionally as a way of helping volunteers come in and just expand students' access to reading support. And we've been so pleased with it, we've continued with it ever since. So Highland Park is a lovely historical neighborhood school. We celebrated our 70th birthday this year. So it's always been a school that has a lot of special education programs. So we're really proud of that. Also really having great inclusion. So now we've grown to about 650 students, kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, and we are really known for a lot of our intervention programs for kids. So the program now, you know, has moved to an online platform and that's really allowed us to track data um, pretty closely. And so now um, the volunteer and the student sit down and read um, on a Chromebook. And afterwards, the volunteer is able to really track and monitor their uh, words per minute and their progress. When I started as co-chair of the program about four years ago, we had between 45 and 50 students. We've grown every single year up to 90 students at this point because the teachers and administration consistently see positive results from this program. One of the things that is good to work with with Read Naturally is that there are very clear moments of completion and success and we really love to emphasize those and reward the students for their good work and so every three to four weeks when they've completed a certain number of stories we have prize week in the reporting module um, i use both the at a glance reports and the more in-depth individual reporting um, the at a glance reports really gives me a grasp on who's progressing, uh, maybe who needs to be moved up to the next level, um, some even graduate the program, and seeing that at a glance report really helps me identify those students quickly. Um, Mid-year and end of year, we always run an in-depth report for each student that we share with the teacher who in turn shares it with the caregivers as part of their progress here at the school. It's, um, it's a fantastic tool to see the progress of the student throughout the year and also to see um, if they're on, on reading level or maybe need to stay in the program. When they were reading the stories on paper, it just didn't really, the content didn't really jump off the page. The fact that the program is interactive uh, really helps with engaging them. In particular, they really like that chart that shows their progress of how they read compared to their goal. They also really like the badges and the awards. Um, it's something that they really strive for, for accuracy, for making sure that their pacing is good. After you pass the read or, in, or the story, you get to see these little badges and they make me feel good like and they make me feel like I really did it. Um, I like seeing my score get higher and I get a path this small woods. And you get time so it's a challenge and that's fun because I love challenges. So my son started first grade uh, here at Highland Park and he was a struggling reader. I've seen massive improvements in his reading level. He has jumped a couple of grade levels in his reading levels um, and then also he's just a lot more interested in reading I think because the content of reading fluency the stories that are provided are very interesting um, and it's just made him a more engaged reader. I feel like I'm learning so much alongside my students and it's just delightful to see them kind of get psyched up to read something new um, and to sort of acquire new facts and as they do it to really build that reading fluency. Um, I happen to volunteer across town at another elementary school that does not have um, Read Naturally and so the reading that we do is just from I Can Read Books. To be fully transparent, the students' growth is much slower because there's no metric by which we can measure what and how they're reading. When those kids step back inside my classroom, um, seeing the increase in their confidence and their comfort level when it comes to reading out loud, especially in front of peers, uh, whether that's you know in a small group here when we're doing our guided reading groups 
or you know down at the carpet in a whole class setting i have kiddos who at the start of the year never would have dreamed of you know raising their hands to volunteer to read in front of their peers and now feel so much more comfortable and confident um, because of the gains that they see uh, in their reading fluency throughout the year the Read Aloud program has really helped me learn how to speak out loud because I used to only read in my head and now I can actually speak out loud without stuttering. One thing that I really appreciate that the Read Life program does for the culture of our school is that it normalizes the kids being pulled out of class to read with an adult and it makes it something that they're excited about and proud of and other kids are like, ooh, I would like to be a part of that program. So I love that it builds their confidence as well as it's building their reading skills. Prior to the Reading Fluency program, uh, my son would not have gone to his room or been interested in going to the library to get a book. And now, oftentimes after school, he'll go get a book, like it could be a graphic novel or a chapter book, and he'll sit and read unprompted by himself, which is, is amazing. Before I did the Reading Fluency program, um, I felt very um, scared that I was going to mess up. It helped me through a lot of reading issues and um, it was very helpful. But I love that it's something that I can, you know, depend on my community to help with. We have moms and dads and grandparents and neighbors coming in to read one-on-one -on -one with these kids and not only is it, you know, heartwarming for them and a great uh, social skill set for these kids, but it's also one thing that I, as a teacher, with an endless checklist, know that I can, you know, each day or each week check off uh, my to-do list and know that it's being done with fidelity and also with care from our awesome neighborhood members um, and parents who are coming in to help support these kids in our classroom. My favorite part of the Read Life program is that I get to read so many stories and learn so many new things that I, did, I wouldn't have learned. I'm excited to be able to read better because I'll be able to read chapter books and even though I like things that are like scary, um, I can't read them. My favorite reading fluency books are ones from ancient Egypt and um, history books so I can learn all about history. My favorite story is called Nessie the Loch Ness Monster. My favorite story was Snake Show. It was about a western hog-nosed snake, one of my favorite animals. My favorite story was the Day of the Dead because I'm Mexican and I always celebrate the Day of the Dead. One story that I really liked was Do My Eyes Deceive Me and it's about your eyes playing tricks on you. On the last day when you graduate, um, you feel very happy and like that you've accomplished many things. Before the program, I didn't really like reading, but after I liked reading. We see kids graduating out and reading on level or above grade level very often by the end of their time here at Highland Park. This program especially brings everything together, right? So we're able to partner kids and uh, caring adults together, and then it also improves their reading. It's like a bonus. It would mean the world to us, and I think it would just really uh, encompass everything that Highland Park is, um, and so it would be really special for us to win this award.